Chime TV. I am so thrilled to be here for the 2023 Gold Gala. It is being held at the Music Center in LA. I am so excited that I feel jittery. I hope we get to talk with some of these amazing men and women in our world. What is your favorite thing about the Filipino culture? My favorite thing about the Filipino culture is the community and support. Like, I feel like, you know how like when you come to the Filip uh, to America, for instance, and you see another Filipino and everyone's like, come by and like, no matter where you're from in the Philippines or o around the world, if you meet another Filipino, they're always like there to like welcome you, help you if you need the help. And um, Filipinos are just so hospitable and warm and welcoming and like I've never felt that in any other country in the world. Maybe I'm a little biased, but <laughs> Filipinos are the sweetest, I think. How did you find strength when you were struggling through all these hardships? You know, I was in an industry that was all about, you know, in fashion and outwardly you know, projecting that. I certainly was suffering. You know, being born and raised in the Philippines, right? I mean, to be reminded of community and the importance of community. I'm, it's, um, you know, we have this thing in the Philippines called kapwa, right? Which is like the virtue of always sharing your inner truth and your inner self. So I had to remind myself about that. What is one of your favorite things about your culture? About my culture? The food. <laughs> I'm very proud of our, of our food. And also, I'm proud of the way that family comes first, that people tend to take care of one another. And I, you know, not to put down Americans, but I feel like it's something that's very unique to Chinese culture. That, uh, like right now, my, my mother's 90, you know, and it's... <laughs> It's, I feel like it's my honor and my privilege to take care of her, just the way that she took care of me all those years. So 